If you're looking over your shoulder at the your supervisor or your professional body on your shoulder or the court or whatever it is, um, and it, it is, I mustn't make a mistake, but it, it's us. I daren't be almost proactive mm. or I daren't express something that I think actually in this circumstance maybe requires expressing or it will be a risk to express. But having thought about it, I think it would be best to try to address you know, so that sometimes it, it is about in in aspiring to do the work well, the demands of the relationship and this particular person, um, th- that actually you're then caught between checking and, and being just very, acting very conservatively or taking the risk. And I think, so I think sometimes it's that, it's about that taking the risk, which we could then conceptualise as, as making a mistake as well. Mm. So sometimes it's by commission and by omission, yeah. isn't it? We've yeah. we, we yeah. thought about and yes. kind of yes. other things, of course, you, you've done something, you just think, oh, where did the hell did that come from? You know, and yeah. you just weren't thinking. Yeah. You know, it, it's not always the yeah. conscious stuff. It's like, yeah. what have I just done? You know? <laughs> <laughs> the things that explode into our relationships yeah, in the therapy room as well. Yeah. 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 As, as, <laughs> I've just remembered a, a, at college we um, we visited Rampton. Uh, you know, I'm going back a long time, 30 years at a high security prison. And we were talking to some of the, the inpatients, you know, and one guy was telling us how he, I don't know, he collected stamps or he collected football magazines, club magazines or something. But he'd got every copy since 1897 and, you know, and all the rest of it. And, but it just went on and on. You know, and my colleague said, oh, God, that's, you must be mad doing that. <laughs> wow. In Rampton, you know. Yeah, right, okay. You know, but talk about Freud slipping yeah. here. Yeah. And it's yeah. just out, you know, it's out without, yeah. Yeah. without even that intentionality. Yes. That yeah. When you think about it afterwards, go yeah. hot and cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of these examples that's not considered. You've not no, no. argued with yourself yeah. about it. No, 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 no. It's, this, yeah. this is... Yeah. 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 Tabs on the edge. It's when sometimes your, your brain goes into overdrive or it goes... It goes switches off. Or it's somewhere else. Mm. And something happens and you're, you're caught off guard. And it's... Um, uh, when you call somebody the wrong name, or you know, all of those kind of things, where you, you just you haven't, you're just not awake, you're not present, you're not there as you should be, but you know, we're human and sometimes we're not. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we're not. And are you guys also saying, and when we're not, that's also an opportunity for learning. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. For yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because sometimes it's how have I set this up so that I am not here? So it's like. That that becomes then part of your. Know, how do you deal with somebody who isn't present? How, you know, and does that relate to somebody in your past that wasn't present for you? Mm-hmm. And you know, so there are all kinds of things that you can delve into and through that and explore, but it can only come about because I haven't been present. That is, if you dare to go back to it. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yes. yes. You're so embarrassed you might yeah. not let him mention it next session. Let's carry on. <laughs> Nothing happened <laughs> last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, yes. that's also the, the other aspect of mistakes is owning them and, being, you know, and saying, look, this has happened. What do we do with this? Mm. How do we deal with it? Mm. Well, what can we get from this? Rather than saying, mm. psh, psh, oh, let's mm. forget that happened. Mm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Or, or even worse, what mistake? I didn't make a mistake. Mm. Yeah. You know, there are things like um, if, if uh, that uh, um, hasn't happened to me uh, uh, yet, but um, uh, where um, a, um, a client um, has reported their therapist has fallen asleep. And so, well, my therapist once fell asleep in the session with me, so I've been on the other side of that. So you, you have experience of it, but just the other. <laughs> and, and, and my therapist then saying to me, well, it, it was you. You were making me tired. You were, you, and not only any responsibility for their part in it. Yeah. And maybe I was. And the, but the, the, it's a shared process. Yeah. And just putting the responsibility onto the client is not appropriate. It's about actually saying, how do we deal with this? This has happened. 
You know, it's not about fault, but what this has happened, how do we deal with it? How do we explore it? What do we get out of it? Mm. Yeah. I'm really thinking about then the two people really being in the relationship together. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sounds yeah. like that's what you're really mm. promoting and yeah. two human beings with mm. whatever happens between mm. those human beings. Mm. Indeed. Yeah. And I guess at that point their relational life is on the edge. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. And what was one of the one, one of the existential philosophers talks about you're really living when you're on the edge. But it's too much for us to tolerate most of the time. Yeah. But I was thinking, you know, if 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 there has been the moment that can be owned, it is an edge in the relationship that has the potential to take you further or to bring you more together or to do to to, to yield a lot. But it feels very risky because it is on that edge. Mm -hmm. You know, so so I also understand therapists who kind of Oh no! I never made the mistake. You go into denial or distortion, or mm. let's change the subject, or yeah, yeah it's, it's perfectly understandable because it's quite fearful. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, like, how do we as practitioners be ready to stay alive in the relationship and be really yeah. alive on that edge if the opportunities mm -hmm. there, as opposed to watching our shoulders for? Mm -hmm. We remain ethical, but we remain alive. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Rather than kind of going backwards. Mm. And I, I, the thought I just had when you said that, John, was also if you're working in a busy practice or you have a busy day, say you, you might see four or five people a day, um, how do you remain alive every session? Mm. I think it's, it's not just the one hour. It's the yeah. sustained... The sustained practice, I think, is 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 then the challenge as well, and it is a challenge. Mm. Yeah. Maintaining yeah. that level of here and nowness, mm -hmm. mm. minute yeah. per minute, every hour, is quite something. And connectedness. Mm. 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 To remain in that mm. state for hour after hour. Mm. Yeah, yeah. To offer each of our clients that experience. The yeah. same equivalent, so yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, so lots of wonderful questions. <laughs> and, and I guess you both are then offering a space to, to think and consider those kind of questions and for that to be held by your considerable experience of, of the therapy world and, and of making mistakes, I guess. <laughs> Well, <laughs> of course, I've never made any. No, you know, no. So I, yeah. I don't know what you're saying that for. <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, it, yes. I mean, uh, in a more holistic sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we. I mean, it, it. We really would like to give, or to offer the opportunity for people to. To explore, you know, with others in a supportive environment, or to dare to to have the opportunity to dare to express almost that which is now unexpressible. Yes, we think yeah. in this yeah. climate yes. at its most serious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that that is that is serious, but it's really it's just that that's very important, I think. Yeah, yeah. isn't it? A serious yeah. commitment. There is um, tremendous pressure for people not to make mistakes or. And so they, uh, we're hearing from our supervisors more and more, I mm. can't make a mistake. I'm not allowed to make mistakes. Mm. The, the pressure from, um, especially from you know, um, accreditation organisations and so on, it's really powerful that you're not allowed to make mistakes. Mm. Um, and if it's, if it's not...